In this video, I'm going to talk about the parts of a quadratic function, and this follows the video that goes through the vocabulary of our unit. So make sure if you haven't watched the vocabulary um, video first that you watch that so you know what the words are that I'm going to use um, to help you out for this video here. So I'm going to do four examples of uh, parts of the quadratic graph, and for each graph what we're going to do is first state if it opens up or down, and then we're going to state the vertex, what that point will be. Um, the roots, x-intercepts, zeros, these three are actually the same answer. So I want to make sure, because they refer to the same thing here. So solutions are also called um, x-intercepts, roots, or zero. So I'm going to make sure I identify, does it open up or down? Vertex. We'll talk about the y-intercept. And then lastly, we'll talk about min or max. And I'm actually going to do these together. Um, no, actually, I'll do it with the vertex because we'll state if the vertex is a max or min. Okay, so the first picture here I see opens upward. So this line is going to continue going up. And so first I'm going to write opens upwards. So if it opens up, the lowest point down here is going to be a minimum. So minimum. And now let's actually locate what that minimum is. So the minimum is our vertex in this picture, and that's gonna be a point, a location, an x comma y. And here it looks like from the origin we went left two, down one, so negative two for the left two, and down one is minus one for the y. So let's see, we did opens up, we talked about the vertex, I did minimum, so now I need to do these two things. Our roots are also called x-intercepts, and I notice I have two of them here, so we'll identify those next, x-intercepts. There are two, one of them is to the left of negative two here and to the right of negative two, so it looks like negative three, zero, and negative one, zero. And then last, our y-intercept, because that actually is part of your uh, quadratic equation. I want to tell you what that is in a future video here. But where it looks like it crosses the y-axis is at 3. So that point would be 0, 3. Okay, now for part B here, I noticed that our picture does something different than what it did over here. This picture actually opens down. So I notice we have a highest point here, and I'm gonna talk about what that highest point is. That highest point is gonna be the maximum of your graph, and let's actually identify what that vertex is. So this point looks like it hits from the origin right three up four. Right three up four would be the point three comma four. And next, I'll talk about our x-intercepts. So I'm going to follow this same pattern here. Looks like from the origin it hits at 1 and in between 4 and 6, so 5. So 1 comma 0 because we're looking at an x-intercept, so that number should be in the x value of your coordinate pair. And then uh, also 5. And then our y-intercept is last. So looking at my y-axis, it looks like it hits right here. It looks like down 5. So since it's a y-intercept, that value should go in the y value of your point. Okay, I have a couple more graphs that we'll practice with. Here for this um, picture, I notice that we have a couple other things going on. And so let's talk about them. I'm just going to get my pencil ready. So here's, here's actually the equation. We didn't know the equation of the previous ones, but I noticed that this parabola is going to open upwards. So open up. And the vertex of our picture, so this is going to be the lowest point of that parabola. So that point where it stops going down and it turns around and goes back up. Let's label this point. It looks like it tracks at negative 2, negative 9. And now our axis of symmetry. Axis of symmetry, um, based on our vocabulary video, is the vertical line that cuts your parabola exactly in half. And so if it's a vertical line, it's gonna be a vux. So vertical line has undefined slope and the equation is x equal to a number. And that's gonna be this vertical line that will perfectly cut your parabola in half. So this axis of symmetry 
is a vertical line, so it's gonna be x equal to a number. Notice how it will share the same x value as your vertex, so negative two. So it's a line that goes exactly through that vertex. Um, and because it's vertical, vux, it should hit the x value of your uh, vertex. Now, this is the lowest point of the graph, so the minimum. I meant to put max or min, but I wrote minimum, so minimum is correct. And then roots. Roots also mean the same thing as x-intercepts. And I notice we have two of those. So on my x-axis, I notice there's one at one and another one at negative five. So negative five, zero is an x-intercept and one, zero is an x-intercept. And then the y-intercept where it crosses my y-axis, so here's my y-axis, it crosses at five. And it's down at five, so that means zero, negative five. So again, y-intercept should have the point in the y value x-intercept should have a point in the x value. Okay, then for our next graph here, uh, here's our function, and here's the picture that correlates to that function. We'll talk about how you get that picture in a next video. Um, but the parabola in this case opens down, because these are gonna keep going down forever and ever. Now the vertex is the highest point, and it looks like our graph goes by one, two, three, four, five. So from the origin, it goes right one, up four. So right one, up four is our point. Now the axis of symmetry is a vertical line that cuts that parabola exactly in half, and that axis of symmetry should go through the same x value of your vertex, which will also be one. Now we don't always draw the axis of symmetry, but it's, it's there. That's what your parabola is going to be symmetric about so that the right side and the left side match. Now for this picture, again, I meant to say max or min should be a maximum. And our roots are also known as x-intercepts. And so for our picture here, they are actually already labeled here, um, but I wanna, identify what those points are. Here, this point on the left, we went left one. So that's gonna be negative one, zero. And from the origin, we went one, two, three to the right. So that would be three, zero. And the y-intercept is also marked, that's up here. Looks like from the origin, we went up three. So it's a y-intercept, it should go up three. So three should go in the y value of your point. Stay tuned for our next video because now we're actually going to start finding those pieces algebraically from our function.